Hello, this is Josh Patel, and I scored a perfect on the biology EOC. So as you watch these videos, you will know you're getting the best information you can get, and you know you will pass the EOC with a good score. So today we will be going over chapter 5, which is all about cell growth and division, and we'll be doing lesson 2, which is mitosis and cytokinesis. So our key concept is cells divide during mitosis and cytokinesis. So in our last video, which was all about the cell cycle, which shows what the cell does and how it grew throughout its life, and the last two terms we met up in that video was mitosis and cytokinesis. So these two terms relate together and they're basically the same thing. You could say cytokinesis is in mitosis, but some people like to say there's two separate things. So as we kind of already know, that mitosis is where a cell divides. And today we'll be going into the stages and how it actually does this. So chromosomes condense at the start of mitosis. And chromosomes are just like strands of DNA, which we know are in the nucleus of a cell. And each animal has different amounts of chromosomes in each cell. So every cell contains chromosomes and it's the DNA or instructions that tell it what to do. So the DNA wraps around proteins and it condenses. So the protein is histones, and this DNA, once it starts to divide, or one before it divides, it has to condense and get smaller. So the double helix, and then it wraps around these proteins to become chromatin, and then they get super coiled, and they end up looking like this X shape. And this is how you know that, this is how you know in a picture that it's condensed. So a DNA plus protein is called a chromatin, as we saw right here, this is chromatin, because each one of these purple things is the protein, and then the DNA is the blue lines. So one half of a duplicated chromosome is a chromatid. So this right here, this X shape, is actually two chromatid, and one half of it and we're splitting it vertically, so one half of it is a chromatid. So this here, it says chromatid right here. That part is, this part chromatid is a chromatid. So this one half of it vertically. And then sister chromatids are held together in the centromere. So although these are two separate things, we it's like also one thing, so one half is a chromatid, but the whole thing together is a sister chromatid, or these two pieces are sister chromatids, and they're held together at the centromere, so which is the local center point of the X. And telomeres protect DNA and do not include genes. So this would be like this little end bump piece here, and there's one right there. We don't really need to know this vocabulary term, but it's just good to know. But we do need to know what a chromatid and sister chromatids and the centromere are. So mitosis and cytokinesis produce two genetically identical daughter cells. And as we know, there are two types of cell division. There's mitosis, and then there's something called mitosis. So mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis and meiosis are hard to remember because they're both a cell division and they both sound similar. But a good way to remember is mitosis has the words my and to. So you can think it's mitosis. So we have to think what does our toe do and our toe does mitosis. So all the cells in your body except sex cells do mitosis. And mitosis produces two genetically identical daughter cells. So when they say daughter cells, they just mean the product of mitosis. So it starts with one cell and you get two because it splits in half and it makes a twin basically. And the two ending cells are called daughter cells. So you have to think mitosis, mito does mitosis. And then meiosis is only for sex cells, which we will learn later. So all we need to remember is what your toe does. And your toe does mitosis because it has the word toe in it. So interphase, as we know, is one of the stages of the cell cycle, which we learned in our last video, and it comes before 
meiosis or mitosis. It's like the first stage. And this is where it prepares the cell to divide. So during interphase, the DNA is duplicated. So this is an image of a cell before it's going to divide. It has its nucleus and it has the DNA in it. And this DNA, as you see, is not condensed because it's not in an X shape. And this is called the parent cell because it didn't yet divide. And once it divides, they're called daughter cells. So here we see the centrioles. It says right here. And as we learned in chapter 3, centrioles are organelles that help the cell divide and they break up certain stuff. And these centrioles will send spindle fibers out, which will help in cell division later. So mitosis divides the cell's nucleus in four phases. And the, you can remember it by P mat. So P is prophase. And chromosomes condense and spindle fibers form. So this is the, an image of prophase. So these are our chromosomes or chromatid and they're sent I mean sorry they're centrioles and they're sending out spindle fibers which will help pull apart these chromosomes and also in prophase the nuclear membrane around the nucleus starts to split and break it dissolves kind of so the DNA can escape and get split in half so this was the first phase in mitosis and we can remember the steps of mitosis by using the term P mat. So P is prophase, M is metaphase, P mat, and so on. And then A is for anaphase, and T is telophase. So that's P mat. So mitosis divides the cell's nucleus into four phases. Now we are on our second phase. So we are on the M in mat. So during metaphase, chromosomes line up in the middle of the cell. So we can remember this one by saying metaphase has an eminent and so does middle. So metaphase, they line up in the middle of the cell. So here we see there's no more nucleus. The nucleus dissolved and the DNA got out and it lines up in the center and the spindle fibers attach onto it. So this is metaphase, or the M in mat. And then during anaphase, which is the next phase, so this is the A we're talking about. So P mat, we're talking about the A in mat. And during anaphase, sister chromatids are separate, separated to opposite sides of the cell. So a way to remember this one is ana is a part, or A for a part, anaphase. So in anaphase, it pulls it apart to the opposite sides. And as we see, they got split up in, from the centromere. So each sister chromatid is on opposite sides, and they're being pulled to each side of the cell. So our in the last phase is telophase, and this is where the new, the new nucleus forms and chromosomes begin to uncoil. So now that we have both our chromosomes, on, or all the DNA on opposite sides, they're going to start to form their cell again. So tela we can think of as a part or far away. So they're all the way on opposite sides of the cell and they're starting to form new cells. So our nucleus is coming back and our chromosomes or the sister chromosomes are unwinding. As we see right here, they're gonna come back into those strands that we saw earlier. And now we have cytokinesis. And this differs in animal and plant cells just slightly though. So in animal cells, the membrane pinches close and pinches and closes. So this is the membrane. See how it has a little, like it's about to split in half. So in animal cells, it just like pinches and closes off and they separate and they become two daughter cells. But in plant cells, a, a plate forms, a cell plate forms. And as we know, plant cells have cell walls. So they're all kind of connected and it's all like a strong sturdy thing so we would have to have a plate form and the plate would form right between or where the gap was or like right here and they'll just sit there that's how it splits
So that was the end to this lesson, which was on chapter 5, Cell Growth and Division, Lesson 2, Mitosis and Cytokinesis. Our next video will be on chapter 5, Lesson 3, which is all about regulating the cell cycle. And so make sure you watch our next video, and if you didn't get anything in this video, make sure you watch it again, because this video had a lot of detail. But a good term to remember to help you remember all this is PMAT, which stands for prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. And then just no cytokinesis comes at the end, which is where it like totally just splits in half. So hope you enjoyed this video and hope you learned a lot. And good luck in your quest in biology.